Hi, and welcome to the first episode of Digital Struggles. My name is Liza McCarthy, and I'm your host and a fellow digital artist. In today's episode, we are going to talk and discuss all about why digital art is real art, and why do some people tell it not. If you do not know digital art, well, it is a form of art done on some sort of gadget, like a laptop, PC, iPad, phone, graphic tablet, or some monitor which connects to a drawing pad. The most famous way of doing art, hands down, is using a graphic tablet or an iPad. The software you might have heard artists talk of um, include Photoshop, Procreate, Ibis Paint, Medibank Paint, Sketchbook, or Clip Studio Paint. Of course, there are way more apps and software you can download, use, or find. But these are the most common ones I have heard of. Personally, I had quite the experience using IBS Paint X, Medibank Paint, Clip Studio, and Sketchbook. But my personal favorite so far has been Procreate. I started off my digital art journey with a simple mid-ranger tablet, which is uh, Samsung 6 Lite which wasn't the best, but not the worst either. I loved using this tablet and as a beginner, this was honestly enough. The one thing that I did not like was the nib on the stylus. It did bother me, to be honest. Um, it easily degrades with the more you use it, with the more often you use it, and it had no pressure sensitivity. Right, uh, so the reason I got this tablet was for school and entertainment purposes, so we can say that the stylus was used much more often for homework, assignments, and many other things that I did. As my art skills bloomed and I practiced more, I started getting art blocks more frequently, and more importantly, I was completely annoyed with the stylus snip, the thing could annoy me away and ruin my mood. As an artist, we depend on our mood, to be honest. Um, anyways, once I got more confident in my art, I realized that I wanted an iPad. Well, what does an iPad have to do with an art, art blocks, right? Or my initial art frustrations, you might think. Well, I did not like the software I had on my tablet. I did not like the apps. The better I got, the more I realized that this software does not work for me. And believe me, I know tons of artists who are my friends and mutuals, who use Medibank Paint, Clip Studio, and Ibis Paint, who love them and don't want to change. But I felt like I did, like I did have to. I felt that my art process should be more flexible and much more intuitive, and some tools and features should have been less complicated for me, like the initial look of the apps with all its complications in its interface was messing with my head. The more research I did, the more I realized that Procreate was my go-to app for art. So if you don't know, Procreate is now available for any devices running uh, iOS, obviously, and it is not available for any devices running Android, so it's only available on Apple products. For $10, which to be fair, it is m worth the money completely in my opinion. After I transferred to it and mastered the program to my fullest extent, I was not only happy and satisfied with my art, but had art blocks less and less frequently. So if you have art blocks, keep in mind that a change of art program might do as well. Just a note of comparison. Uh, when I used apps such as Medibank Paint and Ibis Paint, my art took me over 9 hours to make. While in Procreate, it was from 3 to 5 hours max. Well, it depends on how complicated the piece is and how much details you have in it and what position are you drawing, what are you drawing, is it realism, anime, anime, and so much more factors affect that. But if I have to compare the amount of effort I put into both works, the one that had the less hours put in, which was from Procreate, was so much better looking in the end. All right, so now that I have given you a bit of an insight to my art journey and struggles, here's my opinion on digital art and why it is con should 
why it is and should be considered real art. You see, is when you sketch on paper or draw something, basically, on a sketchbook or a notebook or a paper, obviously. You do tend to erase your mistakes or you get to redraw if you don't like something. And that happens quite often to all the artists, obviously. Well, digital art is the same, but a bit easier. I would say much easier, in my opinion. And while I do enjoy sketching and it ha- and I do feel like it enhances my art skills with the practice I get from sketching on paper and sketchbook, I still use digital art as my main and only source of income as an artist. You see, is with digital art you get tools you never knew you needed, like lasso tools, layers, overlay, multiply, mirror, noise, or duplicate. Even though digital art may have this, complicated tools and features that some might find excessive, it does the job effectively and efficiently. My I say. Digital art is the way we artists draw to create most of the storybooks, posters, commissions, and so much more. Why shouldn't it be considered art if I draw but do it on a screen? And I don't use those super cool but expensive Prisma color pencils and Copic markers, which I frankly do not have the budget for. If we do the same thing as traditional artists, except the fact that we work digitally, download our brushes, and effectively change brush sizes and color. As a person owning an iPad Pro, after extensive long research in all the stores I could find here and price comparisons I did, I found out that iPad to be much more cheaper in comparison to constantly having to purchase sketchbooks, huge watercolor papers that I would need, Copic markers, and the school shiny pen inks. In the end, it is also a great way to travel. For example, you can stuff the device into your backpack or carry on while you would waste a lot of space and all your supplies. And if you were in a plane, I doubt you would be able to draw with all the supplies you would have used at home with traditional art. And do not get me wrong, I love and would consider getting more traditional supplies besides sketchbooks and mechanical pencil refills but for now i'm quite happy with what i have got thank you for listening to this week's episode and stay healthy safe and see you 